Now, gentlemen, let's dive in. In both the US and Canada, the regulators are really stepping up and demanding a higher level of sophistication and cybersecurity maturity from financial institutions. So my first question is to you, um, if you could, Dave, if you could uh, kick it off for us here, how are the regulatory demands changing? And at a high level, what are the regulators asking for? Well, that's a great question, Nasheen. Uh, what we're seeing is more standardization. So across the board, the US and Canada, they've stepped up their game, similar to many companies where they had to enhance their digital footprint. So does the regulators have to make sure that those digital footprints are standardized? So there's less tolerance for poor hygiene. Uh, there are better questions, better uh, maturity matrices that are going out to evaluate the environments and to make sure that they adhere to proper standards. So that's that's something that's that's uh, really helped uh, help provide direction for financial institutions across. Like very very frequently, that's something which is super important. Another very interesting story, this is from my kind of um, uh, school days. During the school days, I remember like um, every time Patch Tuesday was out there, some new patches came up. There was a group of hackers uh, who used to immediately go and uh, reverse engineer that, find out which are the vulnerabilities which has been patched, then go and try to write an exploit for that. And the goal was going and how quickly can somebody own the university network? So those days it was more like people were doing things at the university centric manner. But fast forward, if you look at today, I mean, the same thing is happening, but that is being done by the bad actors and they're doing it on the entire internet. The moment something new comes up, they're trying to kind of exploit the entire internet. So here's the second kind of realization. The first was like, we don't know our attack surface. We don't